scuba diving can be about so many different things. The excitement, the adventure, the exploration of things like different shipwrecks. But today, we're out there for the pure relaxation of it. We're headed to a dive site called Aquarium just off the west end of St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands here. Hey guys, my name's Jeff. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button so you never miss a dive. But let's head under the waves, sit on a patchery for a little while, and check out some fish. Patch reefs are isolated outcroppings of coral that are relatively close to each other, but separated by sand or seagrass. They are usually found in shallow water and close to land. Today we're diving with St. Croix Ultimate Blue Water Adventures, or SCUBA for short, out of Frederickstead. Stop by their shop and check out our UPF 50 Plus Rash Guard, inspired directly from our dive at Aquarium. You can also order by phone or online with the information below in the description. The shape and size of each patch reef is completely unique and different. Here a giant barrel sponge provides shelter for a school of tom tape. on, the full scope and size of the patch reef comes into view. Each patch reef is a small ecosystem that is part of the larger whole, and it's hard to decide which direction to explore. Cutting across the sand, a couple small reefs catch my eye. Even here on this tiny little reef, there is a wide variety of fish, including parrotfish, butterflyfish, and brown and blue chromis. Average depth at aquarium here is 40 feet or 12 meters. Even the sand between the reefs is home to life. The small little objects protruding from the sand behind me look like seagrass, but they're really tiny eels known as garden eels. The western end of St. Croix is lined by a type of reef called a fringing reef. The main part of the fringing reef here is known as the reef slope, which parallels the island at the average depth of 40 feet or 12 meters and slopes downward to around 110 feet or 33 meters. Patch reefs like Aquarium and its neighboring dive site known as the Swirling Reef of Death border the reef slope in the shallower water and closer towards the main island. It's important to keep a keen eye out as you never know what you're going to find. Rounding a patch reef, I find a pair of eyes staring at me from within the sand. It's a southern stingray that has concealed itself. It 
seems unfazed by my presence and I slowly swim around it. dive around and heading back to the boat, a pair of four-eyed butterfly fish catch my attention. Coming over the top of the reef, I find a small school of squirrel fish seeking shelter for the day. They're nocturnal carnivores and their large dark eyes are perfectly suited for hunting at night. And their red coloration also appears black at night, which helps them hunt small larvae in the sand. Make sure to check out our video on the Swirling Reef of Death next. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a dive. But we will see you next time, underwater.